Hello, good afternoon, good evening, good morning, and welcome. It's Nurse Richard, the Wax Wizard. Thanks for joining me for episode 231. Um, oh, this was a right faff, this one was. Uh, there's a new tool coming out in this one as well. Um, whether it works very well or not, I'm not entirely sure. I'll let you be the judge of that. Um, <clears throat> this chap came to see me. And you now it doesn't look like much, does it? So I started with the suction there with a full-size tube, thinking that sometimes you get lucky. Now it, it did look quite hairy, black, quite thick, and quite matted. But there's plenty of room around it. Um, so I thought, I'll have a quick go with that, just see if it can be lifted up and pulled out. Um, it couldn't. <laughs> it will become quite clear why. Very shortly. Um, now it, it, it could barely hear anything at all through this one. Uh, I had a constant sensation of being feeling underwater, which is, is quite common when people get in the shower, get in the bath. They actually do get water in there, it gets trapped behind it, and then uh, the water can't escape, feel even fuller than they did before. Um, so whilst I couldn't get hold of it, I thought I'll just try and see if I can separate it. Just whilst there's plenty of room, I'll get this new little tool in, which is this one here. I don't know if you can see it. Now, it's a double-ended one. No, 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 no innuendo intended there. <laughs> so there's a tiny little hook, like a pick, on the end of it, on the other side. And on the other side, it's, uh, it's got a Jobson horn on it. So it's a double-ended one. Um, courtesy of Chef Med, who... Uh, they're not sponsoring me, by the way. <laughs> but if anybody wants one, any other specialists. Um, now, it did work well to some extent. Uh, as you can see, it's quite big and it's quite blunt, um, which makes it a little safer because, you know, if you make any contact accidentally, which I didn't, um, then it's not going to cause too much trauma. Um, so it, it, I suppose you could say it is a bit like a thick uh, metal rosin inserter, <clears throat> but I found it really useful for separating this. You can see just underneath, can't you, there's a thick layer of freshly shed skin just underneath that and I suspect that's what was causing it to stick to the base of the canal wall and you'll see plenty more of that skin behind this when this comes out and uh, that was the faff to end all faffs trying to get the next bit out let me tell you but I think you're going to enjoy it anyway that's if you enjoy a longer one watching me get really frustrated with something <laughs> speaking of getting frustrated looks like I already am with this doesn't it this needing a really good shake this uh, to get this out and you can just see already can't you just how dry and hard that is so with suction alone I don't think that would have come off, come off really well because it was stuck it was adhered to the canal wall so by using that just to separate it away from it, it made it much easier to to pull it out like that couldn't really drag it forward because it's not sharp enough to dig into it like the rosin inserter is um, but I found it a bit easier to use in the rosin inserter because uh, it's, it's quite it's quite a, an elongated bend that you've got on the rosin inserter. I suppose the Carthorn hook would have been good. Um, I did actually get one which are a bit more uh, right angle and a bit thinner and a, a bit of a sharper edge. And I did actually get one of those a while ago and I threw it away <laughs> by, by accident. Because um, some of the tools we use, that the, the ones that, look, uh, that, that are black, um, like carbon fiber, plasticky material. I know I expert on this. Um, the, the single use items, you, you bin them. But these ones are stainless steel, so you can uh, sterilize them, wash them, use them again. Better for the environment as well. So I may, these, these may making, uh, be making a bit more of an appearance anyway. So as you can see, what we've got left behind there, <coughs> excuse me, um, is this really tightly adhered. Uh, skin to the base of the air canal and just through the um, through the narrowing and it was such a pain in the backside to get out fine in tube here I did try it with a big tube there you might have just seen that but it squeaked a bit I don't know why I bothered to be honest to start with trying that I shouldn't I should have never even attempted it because it was never going to come away with that um, so I got the, uh, the, the fine in tube but this stuff it was like chewing gum it's like someone had, um, had chewed some chewing gum, popped it in the air and just squashed it down <laughs> right in that little gap there. And it was so stuck. Um, now, already could hear better. So that's it, problem solved. And why we're going fishing in after these bits here? I think what would happen is, 
as the skin sheds behind that, even from the top layer of the eardrum as well, and tried to work its way out, <clears throat> it would just get stuck behind that, and then it would just build up behind it. Um, so we'd be back in the not too distant future, I would think. Now, if I was completely unscrupulous, I would have left it there, knowing full well that he's going to need to come and see me again. <laughs> but, uh, but I'm not. I'm honest to a fault, so I said, I think we can buy you a bit more time if I try and get as, rid of, as much of this as I possibly can. <clears throat> Sorry, I've got a bit of a frog in my throat today. Um, I think there's a bit of a button. I've got over my man flu. I'm feeling all right now. Um, but there is a bug going around. My daughter's off school today, barking like a dog. Sounds like I've got three dogs in the house. So there is, there is something going around again. It's really dry, annoying, tickly cough. And uh, I had to search high and low to get some um, placebo medication. Which is, you know, anyone who's got kids, placebo medication works the best. <laughs> you know, yeah, that cream will fix that. It'll make it feel better. <laughs> oh yeah, this, this little cough medicine, that will really help. It really won't, but as long as it's making them think that it is, they're less likely to complain about it, to be honest. <laughs> she doesn't watch these videos, so I think I can safely say I've got away with it. Um, as you can see, so sticky this. Did get the majority of it few little scraps left behind, but you'll be quite surprised uh, in a minute. Quite a big, thick sheet of it uh, comes from around, that, uh, from around the corner on the left-hand side there. It's probably up there with some of my least favorite things to remove this. <coughs> Excuse me. So I hope you're enjoying this anyway, and if you are enjoying it, I always forget to do this, don't I? Um, then click the like button down there. Why do you need to do that? You don't need to do that. You don't have to if you don't want to. <laughs> but it, 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 no more likes and comments and shares these videos get, then it puts them in front of more people, so more people can see them. And um, there's lots of weirdos out there looking for this kind of thing. So you, you're doing your fellow weirdo community a favour. So um, press those buttons now while you're watching it. This is the bit that unravelled that I was actually quite surprised. It might just be that bit that's just stretching apart. Um, I suspect there was a bit more hidden around that bend there as well, and that's what uh, what tended to come. It does get a bit glary, and the only reason it does that is because it is so white, you know, so it's reflecting uh, off the light off the endoscope, is why it does that. But I think if it was any darker, I wouldn't be able to see what I was doing, so it, it needed to be on uh, this, this, this brightness. Again, just snapping it a little bit away there. There we go, not much left. Now you can see this here canal doesn't look like the happiest one you'll ever see. It's not really sad, don't get me wrong, but it doesn't look very happy. And that's because of obviously what's, what's been there for so long. It is a little bit pinky red, you know, and because it's had this, this hard, dry uh, blockage in it. You know, every time you move, you eat, you chew, you can always moving around a little bit. So it's going to be constantly rubbing and um, causing some friction, you know. The other one, thankfully, wasn't as much trouble as this one. <laughs> or maybe not thankfully, I know you like watching me struggle, don't you? <laughs> These more epic ones. I think we're pretty much reaching the end of where it's safe to remove everything. And as you can see there, I'm honestly, I'm more than happy with everything we've got there. Um, I know you can't get every little speck, and you probably shouldn't try to get every little aspect unless it's safe to do so. Now this other one is not quite as black, this. So it's, um, it's quite a fair bit easier to get out. In fact, I think a couple of little shakes and out it popped. I did get some pictures of this one as well afterwards. <laughs> so I have been trying to remember a bit more to take some images of them and little videos of the, of the plugs when they're removing so you can see them afterwards. There we go. I wish the first one was that easy. Uh, thankfully, no sticky chewing gum behind this one. <laughs> and there they are, along with the, the little new tool that you can see there. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that, found it interesting. Uh, if you did, then leave me a comment. Uh, let's have a chat in the comments about anything you like. Feel free to ask and I'll, uh, I'll answer them if I can. Uh, but for now, take care of yourself and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.